Hey everybody, Death Strike here, and well, this is gonna be a special little video today, do a recent news I've heard, and today I'm gonna do something I already did a rant video about. Billy the Turtle, say hello, Billy. Hello everyone, Billy the Turtle here, and today I am with Death Strike Two Zero Seven doing YouTube stuff. Yeah, you, you know, Billy, you can use my name. I mean, practically everybody has seen my username and. Practically, well. Eh. Okay then. Uh, if you want to say sure, don't use the 207. Anyway, we both heard of this new shit called Kappa that's basically going around now. Just why? <laughs> why? Just why? Fucking why? Okay. Okay, turn that shit up before I get copyrighted. Oh no. K2 might come for your ass again. <laughs> ah, these are f ah, these songs are copyrighted to someone else. Yeah. Okay, we're getting a little bit off topic. Let's talk about Kappa. I think you've already heard the news about basically, if you're a YouTuber and exist, you're not going to exist anymore. Especially if you're an animator. Mm, yes, like and basically the entire thing about Kappa and, well, for its YouTube stuff is that you can be fine 42k for every video you've ever made. Yep. And that could include video games. Just imagine they find me right now, 42k. You know how much I owe? And that's shit I can't pay. I barely even started this. I'm, it's not even monetized. I can't afford that shit either. I played in a way, but yeah, basically that's it, and, well, it's entire fucking, what it says as child friend, child friendly, attentively, I don't know, is animation, video games, toy reviews, anything using cool, or duh, or anything including junk food and cereal. Adults can like junk food and cereal. Adults can like animation, toys, video games. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, I know that personally because I've seen, because I've seen clips of all the f uh, very fat old men at my MLP conventions. Oh my god! Anything can appeal to a child. Mass murder, genocide, rape, you know, all sorts of shit can appeal to a child. Yes, anything could appeal to them. And it's not like we can fucking control who watches this. Yeah, I think YouTube needs to bench their bots better too. Let me... Oh man, this is so stupid. Essential. Essentially, this is gonna be a big warning to the FTC to tell them to not do this. Otherwise, they... I swear this is gonna end up black... The FCC shit. And probably a lot worse than what a G Pie got out of it. You remember when uh, Anonymous dogs that dude? Yeah, they doxed him. Oh, damn. Uh, and FTC YouTube are gonna be the hell of a lot of trouble. Yes, and I believe literally this will turn into another G Pie, and I believe literally, literally, someone is going to get seriously hurt. So yes, this is a big warning to you have to see. Please don't, I do not want to see people die because of this. Because, in a way, that's just proof. In a way, that's kind of proves, proving a, a case that isn't true about people on YouTube or gamers or anything that they tell, that they say about us. That we're violent because we swear a lot, yada, yada, yada. Hey man, also being uh, homeless doesn't sound like fun either. Being $542,000 is a lot of money for a small channel. I could s I could sell everything here in my room right now that barely cover it. Yeah, I could sell everything in my room and then some, and that would barely cover it either. It's just so fucking stupid. It's so fucking bright you can fit China's population and rush and rush a territory inside of it. Dude, you could buy 40, 42 grand. You could buy a small house. Yeah.
You have to be as greedy as EA in terms of merchandising if you want to even come, if you even want to get that money fast. EA seems like the good guys right now compared to them. Yeah. And basically a lot of other channels won't even get affected by this. It's, it's essentially forcing you into a fucking gray line and YouTube, if you are watching this, I recommend move your fucking headquarters, otherwise this is gonna affect YouTubers everywhere, in Europe, Russia, it's everywhere. Uh, well, we've had to talk about this before, man. Canada would probably be the best choice. Yes, YouTube, please move to Canada. Save everybody else the trouble. Hey, at the worst, a couple of YouTubers will live here would have to move. Me? I mean, there's big YouTube channels out there that I doubt would really get affected, like PewDiePie and stuff like that. PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye. I doubt they'll really get affected as much, but still, man. They, they make a decent amount of money, but most of that money's fucking ads! And they won't even let you advertise on adult stuff. They won't even let you advertise on kids stuff either. Yeah, not to mention you can't get any feedback, you can't really... You can't really get right... Anybody, it's essentially gonna be killing a lot more jobs and is really gonna hurt a lot more kids and people in general that will protect them. Yeah. I mean, it we should be punished because we didn't check a fucking box and because and because par parents can't fucking control their kids from wanting something. Parents don't want a parent. That's this whole reason why the FTC. And in a way, in a way, they can't even parent, so I can't even. That's the reason they give video games like Call of Duty for, just to get their kids to shut up. I know. And then they say it's teen violence. Are you fucking kidding me? It's M-rated. You allow kids to get stuff like this. I'm drinking right now. Bro, there's like a bunch of ass and titties in this game. Are you expecting a kid to, you know? Yes, or yes, or they can violently protest if you insult the game, if you insult the wrong fandom. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of fandoms you can choose from. Yeah. So anyway, this whole rant is just basically us telling, basically warning the FTC to not do this, and telling YouTube that if they do do this, make preparations to move the HQ. So that way nobody else in our countries can get affected by this because that'd be so fucking dumb. Just imagine being a Britson. Say imagine Lionheart. Imagine he got fined for his UK because for some reason he didn't check a b check a box that that really for a while that should only apply uh on you know US so US soil and US net net waves. <sighs> this is just so stupid. Fuck them, fuck everybody! Nobody likes me, nobody! Oh. Yes, as I sh essentially I feel the same race Trevor feels here. Even he's angry about it. Nobody will be able to see, they'll be able to see his own brand of comedy. Yeah, man, it's either following one line or following the other, and both lines are both bullshit. Yeah, if. Yeah, it all just forces you into a big, gray fucking area. Yeah, but not to mention, it's super vague on how, like, the word, the words are used. Like, using cool and duh. Cool and duh! Are you kidding me? That alone could get you 542k? I mean, I get, I mean, I get there are YouTube bots, and I get the FTC can actually know, actually knows, huh? 
context, but this is the U.S. fucking government. Like they're gonna fucking care about context. All they had to, all they had to do is have an excuse to find you, and they'll take it. And definitely, game, and YouTube can fucking change if even if you do, you know, fucking check that box. It's just so stupid. Okay. Ugh. The FTC is not to fully the blame. There's also YouTube to blame in that manner. Not only aren't they monetizing their bots well, but they've been selling people information on ads. Like, you know, like, they go into your, like, account, see what you watch, put in ads and stuff. I mean, how else are YouTubers going to make money? Congratulations, you watch a video about a certain topic and an ad pulls up. Unless you're goddamn Google Stadia, then you, it appears up no matter what. Because Google is, um, uh, you know, biased. Yes, and let's uh, I can't really blame YouTube for actually trying to, you know... I've heard it's actually having a little bit of financial trouble. And again, on something like that, I can't blame him. Nobody good. And we all know what hap what Google does to um, various project ventures that doesn't do well in sales. Oh, <laughs> uh, YouTube in two years is gonna die if the FTC takes over, isn't it? That was... That literal thing was very close. When it comes to basically, well, that was very close back when YouTube was first around and when Viacom was suing it. That came really close. And now this is gonna happen again, and they, and now it's happening again. And this time I actually seem, and this one is fucking government backed. So. Remember the apocalypse? Yes. This is the second coming of Apocalypse. I was hoping this would never happen by the time I started my channel. I think I got started by the time it was over. Oh, man. YouTube? No matter which way you cut the cake, YouTube's kind of screwed. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Uh, In a way, it's pretty much screwed like this guy here. Yeah, he just screwed with that guy right there. Sometimes I wonder if people will make their own YouTube. But then the FTC will probably get that ass too. Aye, uh, sir. Yeah. I mean, I certainly would make my own. Like, imagine, and I kind of take inspiration from other stuff. It would be kind of called, like, Hyperion Hub, basically. Yeah. Family Guy episode on the FTC? Yeah. They, Family Guy predicted it. Family Guy goddamn predicted it, like, near, like, I believe nearly a decade ago. Yeah, about a decade ago, I believe. Yeah, they basically confirmed that something like, that, that this will happen at some point, but I don't think, um, why it, it would do what they kind of got. Well, they didn't predict the YouTube part. They thought it was going to be television. Uh, how times have changed. Yeah, I mean, why bother? Television is basically just fucking dying. Yeah. Oh, well, we have Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, Crackle, you know, a lot of that other shit. Anyway, yeah. Oh, yeah, remember when Apple TV existed? Sometimes I forget it exists. Yeah. Anyway, before it gets too long and this basically just turns into, um, and basically just cuts off. Well, we'll leave you with that, and well, we plan on helping do a lot more collabs in the future. Yeah, next time it'll be on my channel. So if you guys want to check me out, just look up Billy the Turtle. I'm the, I'm the pixelated greenish brown turtle. Yeah, and be sure to like and subscribe to both of us. Well, anyways, guys, I, we will see you later. And this track, see you next time. <laughs>